verse 9. Yes. And let us not be weary in well doing. Do not be weary in well doing. For in due season we, in shall, this season, reap. we shall reap. You shall reap. Did you reap in 2020 or not? We did. Yes. We did. And if you fail not yes, sir. this year, your reward shall come to you. Yay! In the mighty name of Jesus. Yay! The Lord said, I have not called the children of Jacob in vain. Mm. I have spoken the truth. I do not lie. I have not called them in vain. Oh, ye ever the Lord has 
God called you today. Amen. The God that has called you will bless you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I don't want you to be afraid of anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't be afraid of anything. The Lord will do a great thing. The Lord will do a great thing. And the Lord, your God, mighty one to deliver is with you. Mighty one to bless is with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy your enemy. I want everyone that can open it to open it to the chapter 20. Chapter 20. Praise the Lord. I want to read from verse 1. He said, When thou goest out to battle against thy enemy, mm -hmm. do you believe that life is battle? Yes, yes. sir. I will have enemies. Mm -hmm. Enemies are folks to conquer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He said, And you see their horses, and you see their chariots. And you see that the people are even more than you. He said, be not afraid. Be not what? Afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Yes, he is the one that brought you out of Egypt. He is the one that brought you out of 2020. With blessings. So don't be afraid. Yes, sir. You can liken it to anything. You are looking for a job. And you get there. You see, more careful people. Big CVs, and you are asking yourself, Who am I? Can I compete with this? He said, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Amen. When you start a business and you see there are so many things that are against you, it's like a battlefield. He said, Be not afraid. Yes, sir. When you're working in an office and the politics is, you know, understand this, it, 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 it's, it's full of beggaries. And you are asking yourself, God, how can I handle this? He said, be not afraid. Oh, I am what? With you. you. I am what? With you. you. Even if they are asking you to leave your job, they will leave you of your job. Don't be afraid. They will call you back. Praise the Lord. Don't be afraid. Because the Lord God Almighty is what? Is what? Is with you. So I am going to annoy these stickers. And as I annoy these stickers, we are going to stretch for our hands and we are going to pray to it. And as we pray to it, the Lord God Almighty will make it a thing that will come to pass indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. One thing I want you to know is this. God does not joke. He does not tell a joke. If he says your head is big, believe me, your head is big. Praise the Lord. If he says, Lord, I am with you. Trust God, he is with you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, Once I have spoken, twice I have had that word, power belongs to you. I want you to stretch forth your hand to this sticker. Stretch your hand to this sticker. In this altar, that the Lord God Almighty, whom you serve, we use it. it is a great divine reward for us to believe in you. We thank you, Lord. Anywhere that you stick it, it's a prophecy that will come to pass. A prophecy of reward in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord Jesus. He will not do. He said, My word will not come to the ground void without performing that which I have said to you. When you stick it to your door, the word shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you stick it in your business place, it shall bring reward up to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of the Lord will be your portion. The grace of the Lord will be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What do you want the Lord to do for you? What is the reward that you want from the Lord? I want you to speak it. He said, as I have spoken in my ears, I will do unto you. He will give you rest. He said, behold, my spirit will go with you. 
and I will give you rest. 2021, you will enjoy rest all around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will quit fighting battles. Every form of struggling and battles, grace will replace it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will not go like a hand, like an elephant and hit like a hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. The hand of the Lord will be upon your business. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We anoint this sticker in the name of God the Father, yeah. God the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. A round of applause to my people. A round of applause to my people. I present to you our sticker for your 2021, Woo. your great year of the world. In Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. You will give it to everyone, one to one, one to one, everyone that's at the end of the one to
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Children of God, are you happy? Are you happy that the Lord has brought you to a year of abundance, a year of great blessing, a year of great reward? You will have testimonies throughout this year in Jesus. Amen. Your testimonies will not be once in a while. It will be continuous in Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe it, just jam your hands together. Jam your hands together. The Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Open your Bible to the book of Hazard, chapter 45, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 19. Are you there? Are we there? I'm not going to take too much of your time. Praise the Lord. Today is not a day of long sermon. Praise the Lord. The Lord asked me to tell you, I have not spoken his secret. He declared it to all mankind to hear. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 19. He said, I have not spoken in secret. Neither have I spoken in the darkness of the earth. He said, I said not to Jacob, seek, seek me in vain. Praise the Lord. By interpretation, what the Lord is saying is that when I call them, I will bless them. When I call them, my reward is what? Is with me. And that is why he said in the book of Revelation, Behold, I call quickly, and my reward is what? With me. Praise the Lord. It is the Lord that I rewarded. Whatever a man sow, he will, he will know it. Do you understand? If you sow a wind, you will reap what? Wild. Praise the Lord. If you sow a good seed, you will reap hundredfold, thousandfold, and that it will be your reward. Praise the Lord. The Lord will reward your work in the vineyard. The Lord will reward your work in the vineyard. He said, if you give a cup of water to a prophet, you will receive what? A prophetic what? Reward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David said, I cannot afford to be in a sealed house, a well fortified, a well furnished, a beautiful palace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A radiant and beautiful edifice, a structure that is so beautiful. And yet, the act of the covenant made in it. Praise the Lord. That is a sign that he was ready to do what? To walk. That is a sign that he was ready to do what? To serve. And the Lord said that it has crossed so hard to build me a house. He said the enemy will not exert upon you. That is the reward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know that he built that house? That's why the Father God said that your hand is too filled with God. You cannot build a house for me. He said, I do not live in a house, in a tent. I live in the heart of men. Praise the Lord. But your son, he said, your son. Tell your neighbor your son. Your son. Your son. Tell your neighbor your son. Your son. That proceeded out of your loin, we build me a house. Praise the Lord. And what happened? The Lord used Solomon to do what? The Lord used Solomon to do what? And what was the, the, the reward? Solomon enjoyed peace throughout his reign. Praise the Lord. The devil provided so much material. And the elders, the ministers in the church, they helped Solomon to build the house of the Lord. And the Lord said, Ask me, ask me whatever you will. And I will do unto you. Praise the Lord. Just imagine yourself in 2021. The Lord is asking you, what is your heart's desire? Ask me 
whatsoever, I will do it for you. You know, king, you asked like that. That was a king that asked. He had the Herodian, the daughter, what do you want? What do you want me to do for you? I will do it for you. And even though the act of my kingdom, she went to her mother and she said, what do I ask? And he said, ask for the head of John the Baptist. They will not ask for the head in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every gathering that asks for head will offer them the blood of our Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Christ has not been offered as a dead, true of all. Because he was the forerunner of our Lord Jesus Christ. But now that he has been offered, anywhere they ask for air, we offer them the blood of Jesus. And the error granted it, true or false? How much more God? How much more God? And Solomon said, Lord, give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that I can judge your people aright. He said, your people are great. They are mighty. How can I judge them? How can I rule over them? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, this is a strange request. You have not asked for riches. You have not even asked for the life of your enemy. You know? The prayer that grace, the temple of the Lord, is kill. Die. Kill them. And the Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have what? He is not in the business of killing and destroying. Praise the Lord. He wanted life to be saved. But you are asking for people to die. Why don't you ask for the salvation of their soul? Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor that this year, 2021, I will pray aright. Because the Bible says, yet pray and receive not. Because yet ask amiss. That yet be consuming upon your loss. You are asking most for it. Pray the Lord. You see the brother's message this and he said, I want the message this place. Just like that, brother. Do it. You are not even working. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What a awkward request. But if the Lord bless you, indeed, what will you do in the house of the Lord? We came first that gift of the year, and we saw this, uh, these tools. We do not buy, we did not buy with our money. A brother in the church. A brother in the church donated it. Said no good for the elders to put Bibles on the floor. What is in your heart to do in the church? Because God wants to reward you. We said it's a year of great reward. The world is returned on investment. What have you done that will make the Lord to reward you? You come to church late. You want God to reward you for lateness? You are not in any department. You are a church woman. You want God to reward you for that? God forbid. Tell your neighbor, God forbid. God forbid. He is looking for a man to bless. But what is the work of your heart? You are not among the usher. You are not ushering well. You don't smile in the church. You are not interceding for brethren. You are not among the prayer warrior. And the Bible says you should pray for men. All men, especially people in authority. That we may live a world peaceful life. Praise the Lord. But instead of you to pray for God to help them, that the Lord should destroy them. And you have been ordained to bless, not to fault. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has made Christ a cause for you. Because he was bound upon the cross. Praise the Lord. So let no prophet word proceed out of your mouth in this year 2021. Do you have a seat on the ground? 
I met God to challenge you. Do you pay your tithe? A sister testified the other time that he said, Lord, I know you will do it because I have been because the Bible said, bring forth your strong business. Let us reason together. God is willing to reason with you. He's, he's ready. Praise the Lord. He told Moses, I'm going to destroy these people. Just like one man, I am able, capable of raising another generation for you. But then this, uh, Moses said, no, I can't do that, sir. If you destroy them, they will say you are not able to take them to the promised land. Then you destroy them in the desert. I thought said, that's true. What is your strong reason? What is your strong reason? The Lord wants to bless you. But you are the one holding the hands of the Lord. In 2021, you will not hold the hands of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, in this 20 and 21, you will not hold the hand of the Lord. He wants to bless you. Do you know that the Lord wants to bless you? Look at uh, uh, the book of Psalm. Psalm 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the seat of the sinner, nor seated. In the seat of his comfort. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord is words. The word of the Lord. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. What does Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 say? This book of the law shall not be found out of your mouth. That's why I was exceedingly glad when Chica was giving the testimony. That he was preaching in the bus. Can you fathom that? I remember when I gave my life to Christ in the Father Bible Church in Lagos. You can't go to work with more than a without preaching the gospel. It's not possible. It cannot happen. You preach in Yoruba, someone interprets in English. You preach in English, someone interprets in Yoruba. It's like that. Praise the Lord. Amen. When was the last time you shared the word of the Lord? When was the last time you tell somebody, Jesus loves you? Turn around in the church. Where is your sin? Do you have a convert in the church? For the past 10 years that you have been serving the Lord, have you won a soul for Christ? Have you? And the Bible said, Behold, I come quickly. And peradventure, you die before he comes. You go to meet him. Your own Jesus Christ has come. Through or forth. Because there is no salvation in the grave. Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor he comes quickly. He comes quickly. He said, But easy life is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, does he meditate day and night? He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his deep season. His leaves also shall not be that. Your leaves shall not be that. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever he doeth, he will he prosper. You will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because you are not sitting in the seat of his comfort. Be careful in 2021. The company that you choose. Choose your friend wisely. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not sit down with people that have given up. People that do not have hope. People that say, it is finished. There is nothing more. How many years have I served him? Nothing. Don't sit down with such people. Rather, encourage their faith. Praise the Lord. Anyway, anyone is discouraged, encourage the person. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, He has promised you. And His promise is yea 
and what? Amen. Is there and what? Amen. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Can someone open to Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11? 29 verse 11. The Lord has a word for us. I know the thought that I did towards you. The thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. An expected end is a end with a hope, not an hopeless end. You pass your examination, you get your admission, you will study the course that you like, you will pass out in good grade, you will go for your good call, you will get a good job. You will be useful to yourself and to your society. That is what the Lord wants for you. Praise the Lord. You will start a good business. It will, it will flourish. Praise the Lord. That is the wish of the Lord for you. I wish above all things that that may prosper. That that may prosper. The Lord wants you to prosper. In year 2021, you will prosper. Amen. You will be prosperous. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Try to have jealousy. Do not allow fear to creep in. Do not allow jealousy to creep in. Serve the Lord diligently. Help the fatherless. Help the widow. And the widow are among you. For the Bible says this is the true religion. Praise the Lord. Our mommy was giving her testimony. And she said that it amazed her that the year went by. Nobody visited her. Nobody provided for her. And Jesus Christ said, I will say unto you, I know you not. For when I was sick, ye ministered not to me. You will say that in your name, I have done great miracles. In your name, I have healed the sick. I read the death. He said, but I will say unto you, depart from me. I know you know, yet walk out from iniquity. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. They say, how? I'm always the first to come to the church. I sing in the choir. I distribute the tithe. Every load. I will distribute uh, ambience. I'm in the usher. How can you say you do not know me? I'm a deacon in the church. He said, I will say unto you, I was hungry. You did not give me any food to eat. Praise the Lord. When your brother is hungry and he comes to you, he tells you that things no balance, that things are haram. You tell him, come. I will pray for you. The Lord will do it. We serve the help of God. Be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord provides for you. The Lord provides for you. You lay your hand on say, in Jesus' name. And you ask him to walk away. Yet you have 10,000 in your pocket. You have food that are rotting away in the pantry, in the store. The Lord said, I will say unto you, I do not know you. He said, because to them that know how to do good and do it now, it is a sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't pray for him. There is time for prayer. There is time for you to minister to him in love. Minister to her in love. Provide for her. Share whatever you have. Give a little. After which, you can encourage him. You can pray for him. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. As you do so, the Lord will help you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to challenge you that this year, 2021, if you don't let it to be like just an ordinary, the same year, the same year, don't let it pass just like others, so that the Lord can bless you. He's looking for someone to bless. He wants to give you a hand with what? A blessing. But if you sit in the seat of his corner, he's not going to walk. 
You are very scornful. You have never, never been in mind to take a solo. Someone is taking a solo and you are criticizing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You said that that part, the way he carried it, the way she carried it. Who made you the job? God created Carol and Canary Island. They can sing with different tunes. They are not singing unto you. They are not entertaining. They are not entertaining their ministry. What you do is to wipe them up in your prayers. Rather, they are the one that is saying, stop looking at me. Open your mouth. Pray. The Lord wants to do a new thing in your life this year. Will you allow him? Will you allow Yahweh to do a new thing in your life? So that you will not end the same way you ended in 2020. It's a year of pandemic. It was a year of loss. It was a year of death. But in it, we celebrated birth. In it, we celebrated jobs. In it, we celebrated good health. And so shall it be in 2020. One, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will grant you great reward. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not walk like elephant and eat like a man. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord who you serve will remember the work of your hand. He will bless you. He will remember your love in the kingdom. He will bless you. He will remember how you eat the sea, how you walk, how you carry the department on your shoulder. The Lord who you serve will reward you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your work shall not be in vain. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, rise up on your faith. Rise up on your faith and go to the Lord now in prayer and tell God, Father, you will help me. Father, you will reward me. Father, my work will never be in vain. You will speak to the Lord because of the work that I have been for you. You will help me. The Lord sent a messenger to Ezekiah. He told King Ezekiah, this sickness is unto them. Put your house in order. For you shall not come down from your bed. But the Bible said, he turned to his bed, to the wall, and he prayed, O oh Lord, remember how I have served you diligently. Remember how I have kept your word. Remember how I have done all your bidding. I don't even have a son to reign in my stead. Will I die like this? And the Lord sent the prophet back to him. Tell him, I'm giving unto him additional, 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 15 more years. And that was cancelled. As the oracle of the Lord, I thank you every day in this house. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of life, I cancel day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that bothers you, every scar that you carry. I pray that the Lord God Almighty, whom you serve, will suit your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We bless your name. We bless your name. Father, we bless your name.
the Lord. I speak that the oracle of the Lord to bless you and not to curse you. And the word of the Lord will be here and heaven in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said, there shall be no more tents and events of day. No an old man that has not filled this day. For the child shall die an hundred years of food. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 21. You shall build and inhabit them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be for another man to inhabit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In 2021, you will reap. In the world of the labor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They shall plant fire and eat thereof the fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible said in verse 22. They shall not build and another one will have it. They shall not plant and another one will eat. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said it shall never be again. Never shall it be mentioned. That you have built and another is the habitant. God forbid. Tell your neighbor, God forbid. He said, I will not give your food for your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said, My elect shall long enjoy the labor of their hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will enjoy the labor of your hand in Jesus' name. As you go to the field and you will come back safely. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you do, the Lord will be your safety. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And in verse 20, he asked me to tell you that you shall not labor in vain. You shall not bring forth for trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are the seed of the Lord. And so shall it be in the name of God the Father. And the name of God the Son. And the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are praying.